This is the HSS 2020. It's a, a pocket operator compatible uh, synthesizer. It's also using batteries, three AAA batteries. Here's the power switch. It's uh, it's the um, newer version from this uh, synthesizer. It's got the same amount of uh, buttons, and um, but I changed the script a bit, so it's a different uh, script. Well, the same script, but updated uh, for uh, for the knowledge I gained in the years after uh, I made the first one. And so this is the audio output. It also has trigger out on the tip. You can uh, get the um, the trigger out by holding the S button, and then bo when booting up, then the then the uh, then the tip will have the trigger, and the ring will uh, will have the audio. If you boot it normally, it's uh, two times the same audio signal. It has a um, six-bit digital analog, analog converter. And uh, if you put in a signal here, the audio goes through the amp and then gets mixed to the output. Uh, the, uh, the, it's, uh, the signal on the, on the ring is uh, the audio input, the tip on this connection is always a trigger, trigger input. Uh, then there is uh, uh, knobs here, which uh, uh, th these three knobs, they are connected to the, to the microcontroller. And this is uh, the volume out pot meter. So these control uh, things uh, from the synthesizer and other things, so uh, uh, these switches, they control the synth sounds, and these switches, they control accents on, this, on the sounds that you make with these buttons, and, uh, and uh, you can also, if, there, if there's, these, there's no sounds being made with these buttons, then uh, you can make uh, effects on the audio that's coming in with these two buttons. And these two buttons are controlled for, uh, are used for uh, changing settings in the synthesizer. Also, there's a small manual on the back here with all the function uh, functions. So let's uh, record some uh, sound with it. Or make some synth sounds. So you can hear it repeats what I did. So I press the button and I rotate the center knob. And then uh, it records the movement of this knob. So if I would record now uh, a different sound uh, over it, then uh, then it replaces it. Then I can add some accents with these buttons. Use these two buttons to change parameters in the front the sounds. And then another 
thing is that I can, if I ch turn this pot all the way to the left, I can uh, change the um, the sounds. Uh, or I can, if I record something like this. So. See, because I use this pot all the way to the left. Now I can, can change the sound. Like when it hits the sound that I recorded to uh, on all the way to the left, then I can use this pot uh, for for the sound that I recorded there, and uh, still change it. So it's not uh, automated. Then uh, what I can do is uh, I can switch bank. So now I'm in one of these banks. Switch to another bank. I switch bank, I use the S button and then select one of the three banks. So it seems I was in bank three because uh, <laughs> I tried to move there and didn't work. So now I can record something here. Then I can also make this bank shorter. Let's do that. So the, the length is uh, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32, 64. Those are the lengths you can select. So you change the length by holding the S button and then B and then turning this knob. Then what I can do is I can do, uh, let's switch to this bank, record something here, make it a bit shorter. No. And then I, I can do bank recording. So what I'm going to do is I can press, uh, I can hold uh, the S bank, S bank button for selecting the bank, and then I can click this button a few times, and then this one, and then it replaces this one the amount that I clicked it, and then this one the amount that I clicked it, and then it starts over again. <laughs> So you can see it repeated what I did. Mm, another thing I can do is I can erase something. So I do that by holding the E button and then if I press the B it records, it erases this part and then when I press the, when I hold uh, E and press A then it er erases in the sequence from this part. See, so it erased that uh, when, when I hold it. Um, what I can also do is, and there are some built-in effects for the synths. So if I would record something here, uh, well, let's see that if I press the E and, then I, and I press this button, then I get a sample rate reduction. So let's uh, record something in here. <laughs> And here I have a um, um, low pass filter, 
So that's got some higher sounds. If I press the E and the, and the two, then it's the hold. There's a hold function, and the way this works is that it holds uh, the sound that it's playing back, but it it uh, doesn't hold the sequencer itself. So the sequencer keeps going, and uh, this is handy for when you have some some other device connected to it. Then uh, uh, when you let go of the hold, then it continues at the same position it would if you had not pushed the hold at all. There's also a uh, hold or reset function, so you can, uh, if you press the E and the S, then it will reset the position uh, to the to the start of the sequence. <laughs> That's also a nice, uh, that's a handy uh, thing to have. Then I can also change the speed of the sequence by pressing the S and the A. Uh, if you set the speed to zero, I'm doing this, now it's zero speed, then I can connect some external thing and uh, some external device, uh, sync to it, uh, so it can, uh, then it can, um, uh, it will use the external trigger input. In here, so I plug it in here. Then let's turn it on. So I hold the S button. Now it should get a trigger signal. So I can uh, change, if I change the volume on here, through, through, through here, and then uh, this one, uh, it doesn't affect the volume of this one. So let's try some uh, external effects. So I'm going to um, press, uh, let's turn up the volume, and then I can record effects with this too. Thank 
see it can make all kinds of uh, nice sounds with it I have another synth, small synth here Sounds pretty good, I think. Okay. Bye-bye.